A 16 year old shot and killed just days into the new school year. Thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Pritchard. Today's homicide is the latest in a string of fatal shootings in St. Louis involving teenagers and children. Police say 16 year old Jason Eberhard was shot to death in a parking lot just after two o'clock this morning. An 18 year old was also injured in that shooting. Officers responded to the scene on Hogan Street, just south of Cass Avenue in the Carr Square neighborhood. News 4's Emma Hogue reports on the family's grief and the search for a suspect. Right now, we don't respect life like we used to. Charles Shelton, a minister and mentor, is determined to change that. He spent over a decade mentoring teens and young men. I see the pain that our families are going through. But it wasn't until Sunday morning that he experienced that same pain himself. And I got a phone call telling me that something happened. Shelton learned his cousin, 16 year old Jason Eberhardt, was shot and killed overnight. Police say an 18 year old was also hurt in the same shooting. This is when you feel the pain hits home. This high school junior, described as energetic and full of potential, gunned down just days into the new school year. One of the biggest ones, like, why I couldn't save him? You know, it's one thing when you're helping others and you try to make a difference in others' lives. But when you feel like you miss one that was at home, it's just like another level. Investigators say they found him shot multiple times in a parking lot here on Hogan Street. Eberhard's death makes this the 11th child or teenager fatally shot in St. Louis this summer, and people here are sick of it. It saddens me, like it brings tears to my eyes to me just to know that it's close. It's heartbreaking. You know, it has to stop. You know, when does it stop? In the wrong place at the wrong time, and that's just one of those situations where you wish I, I, I could have made a difference. Family members say Eberhardt had dreams of playing in the NFL. That ambition cut short by yet another case of gun violence. If we're going to make a change, then the change has to start on these front porches and in these living rooms. Shelton is now using his pain from this personal tragedy to fuel his mission, a goal to prevent another family from losing a loved one. We need to work on our community. In St. Louis. It has to be a, a, a group effort. Emma Hogue, News 4. Investigators are still looking for a suspect. If you have any information, you're asked to call St. Louis Police or Crime Stoppers. Those numbers are posted on the KMOV News app.